obviously a congratulations on today's win, Spencer. Uh, talk me through how you won the game. Uh, not too sure, really. I, um, I thought first half was the first 20 minutes or so were very, uh, very even. I thought it was quite flat. It was very hot, and uh, I think both sides were just sort of testing each other out. And then, and then we scored two good goals and could have come in possibly three or four nil up at half time. Uh, we, you know, we were very dominant in the in the last part of the first half. And um, I was, you know, I said to them at half time, we, we, we hadn't been fantastic, but we, you know, you're 2 0 up at home, you've got to be pleased, but we've got to be disciplined. And I knew they'd changed something. They've, they've got so many great strikers at Bromley, and I thought they'd probably go to 4 3 3 and go for pace rather than perhaps the more direct route that they were going. And um, no, he stuck every single forward he had on the club. So I think they had six forwards on uh, at the start of the second half. They went to three at the back. And to be perfectly blunt, we just didn't deal with it. And. Um, you know, we, we should have just picked them off at will. Uh, they went through at the back and with our lads, you know, the quality we, we normally have, I, I thought we'd, we'd end up winning five or six nil because it was a, a very brave decision by Bromley's manager. And I have to say all credit to him because it nearly worked. You know, we just, our quality deserted us, our communication um, and, you know, the, the, the penalty was you know great save again from Bradders. I think someone's told me now he saved 13 in 15 penalties. It's it's an unbelievable record, and um, obviously that's a key moment. And then they had another shout for a penalty. I couldn't see it, but to be fair to them, when a lot of hands go up like that, it, it, it may well have been. We've had a little bit of luck, but we've missed so many quality opportunities in the in the second half. And when I mean quality opportunities, I just. Our, our final ball was just terrible. I mean, we should have been picking them off at will, as I said, in the last 20, 25 minutes. And uh, we were very poor in the last third. So, delighted with the win. But again, I, I've kept them in slightly longer to, today because we've got to learn from these things. And, uh, you know, teams will try things against us and we didn't react well. Obviously, delighted with the points. Uh, but we've, we've got to keep growing and learning from things that that work and learning from things that don't work and we've got two very very difficult away games the two sides we're facing are flying I mean Maidenhead in particular they've won at Eastbourne today which is a very tough place to go and we need to get better and um, pleased to see Tarps on the pitch he's clearly quite not match fit yet you could see that but pleased yeah. to get him back so all credit to my physio staff that have got him back so quickly and um, it was difficult but it's, it's it's three points and three points at this level are very hard for and you know we're delighted that um, we've got them. Mm, definitely. Um, obviously, you mentioned some of the you know, problem, problem of throwing forwards on in the second half, and they had a number of chances. We're, we're, we're found we're quite, um, quite, quite lucky not to concede in the second oh, period. Oh, it's an absolute miracle that we kept a clean sheet. Um, um, I don't know who we've been uh, thinking of, but we certainly we led a totally charmed laugh in the second half. I mean, I mean, all credit, and they had some great chances, but we had some. I mean, we probably had 20 chances on the break, of which our quality deserted us in the final ball or cross. Just didn't happen and um, you know we, we, we had one I think cleared off the line from a corner we, we just didn't really perform in the second half and as I said sometimes you've got to give the other manager credit he's made a very dramatic change and as I said if you'd asked me at half time if he did that what would happen I would have said you know we'll end up winning 4-5-1 um, because to go three on three with us is, is a very brave move but it, it very nearly paid off for him so um, we, we've earned a little bit of luck I, I wouldn't say we're a lucky team today but you know, we were the better team in the first half and they were certainly the better side in the second half, but we didn't get any luck at Salisbury where I think we deserved a point and we should have finished off Dorchester. But we're a learning side, you know, we, we, we've got to keep progressing and, um, you know, it's always nice to progress when you haven't played well again. And I just said to them, it'll be very good when, you know, when we play well, um, you know, we'll, we'll be a very good side, which, you know, at this stage of the season, I've got to be very pleased. Mm, definitely. Um, obviously, uh, both both the goals were scored in the first half by uh, by birthday boy Nick Cardini. Um, what a day it was for him! Yeah, I mean he's he's been disappointed not to start the last couple of games. As you can see, he's not fully match fit. He's not good to go for ninety minutes. He started pre-season very late due to an injury, and he, he, by his own admission, he put some weight on. He's coming back to full fitness now, but he's not ready for ninety minutes. And in the last couple of games, he's caused teams considerable problems when he comes on because he's fresh and he has got quality. Um, on today's performance, you know, in the first half that quality shone through and he got two goals, so I'm delighted for him. He's, he's, he's farmer through and through, and it's very nice when a, a homegrown lad does that. So, lots of positives, um, some negatives today that we can learn from, but it ultimately, you know, when you look at the paper tomorrow, we've won the game and we've kept a clean sheet, as I said, I don't quite know how, but, um, you know, very pleased overall, um, despite the second half performance. Sure, sure. Obviously, again, you mentioned uh, 
Craig Bradshaw in, 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 the, in the final goal saved the penalty, made a number of other um, great saves. Um, how important was he to, to keeping that, that, that clean sheet today? I think that I thought the back four were excellent, and obviously then I'll include Bradders with it. Um, I think generally this season, with the exception of the first 45 at Dover, we, we've, we've defended very well. Uh, what let us down today was our communication in the second half and our quality. Um, so Bradders is an outstanding keeper. I've had him for a couple of years. Um, and do you know what? When penalties go against us, it's, his, his reputation is now coming up to me. And I thought the penalty was a decent strike as well. And he's flung himself away and saved it. So Bradders is an outstanding keeper. Really pleased for him. And, um, but as I said, I think the back four defended very well today. Um, but we, we left them very exposed in the second half um, with a lack of quality. Mm, definitely. Um, obviously, you've got the three points. You've got the win. That's, that's the, you know, the, the important thing. And where do you where do you go from here, Spencer? Well, we've got to keep trying to improve. You know, we, we need to be very realistic. We are where we are, and overall, right now, we'd be very pleased with the points we've achieved in the first two and a bit weeks. Two very difficult away games coming up. Very difficult. Uh, we certainly got spanked at uh, Boreham Wood at the end of last season. It was one of the very poor performances we put in and I rate them very, very highly. Maidenhead we don't know much about but they've certainly had a massive change of fortune. They've had a very good win today. So we will still have to be a lot better to get anything from either of those games. But we're, we're a side that's, that's starting to come together. Yes, we're having good patches. Yes, we're having some poor patches as you've seen today better than ever. But um, overall, we've, we've got to be quite pleased but being still very realistic about what we're trying to achieve this season. Excellent. Well, brilliant. Well, that, that, yeah, congratulations on the on the win, and uh, thanks for that, Spencer. Cheers, very kind. Yeah.